we sent our fitness expert, Lauren Howe, to check out one fun alternative, the circus. Ever wanted to run away and join the circus? Well, there's a less drastic alternative. Incorporate that dream into your fitness routine. And I'm here at the Circus Fix to find out just how you can do that. You come here and you get a little bit of a, of a taste of flying and, and, and the circus life. I think it hooks people. So I think that sets it apart from everything else, right? Like it's, it's a little bit of a, uh, a fantasy that people are like, oh, I would love to join a circus, but it's never gonna happen, right? Yeah. And it's sort of like this sneak attack of a really good workout that you don't realize until the next day when you're like, oh wow, oh wow. What are the main parts of your body that you're working? All of your body. <laughs> <laughs> Every little bit of your body. I mean, there's a lot of core involved, um, core strength, arms, but it, it's, yeah. it's a full body thing. Do you need any experience? No, anyone can come take class. It's not for 22 year old ex-professional dancers. You know what I mean? It's yeah. for little kids. It's for people that have ne never done anything physical in their life. And it's for everyone. Can you walk me through what a class might look like? So you're gonna okay. reach up nice and high again. You don't need to wrap your arms. Okay. Elbows touch your ribs and knees come to your chest. Okay. Yes. Yep, and then down. Yeah! So now we're gonna learn to climb. Yep, just climbing. <laughs> we're gonna right, trial by error here. Yep, so around. Okay, reach around. And all the way up. So keep this nice and flexed. Gonna, yep, hop all the way up and stamp. Okay. Slide up one arm, slide up the other arm. Yep. So release, bend, and then reconnect. Yeah! And then <laughs> kick forward. Yeah, totally. Do one more and then we're gonna come down. Kick forward, yes. Okay, so stay there. See, I'm getting excited down. like a little monkey up here now. Awesome. Cirque du Soleil, where are you at? <laughs> I'm unbelievably shocked at just how many small little muscles you're engaging. I find I get a lot of people that have never liked to work out. I don't like the gym, I don't like team sports, I don't like yoga, but I love this. <laughs> okay, I want to know how you, you, you looked great doing it. How do you feel the next day when you wake up out of your bed? Is there soreness? Yes. Yes? yes. Where did it hurt? You know what? This is what I love. I actually genuinely think I'm going to start doing this as a workout. Nice. Because you use muscles you forget that you necessarily might be using in a gym if you're doing rep like repetitive motions of this is a traditional pull-up. Yeah. And you also forget that you're using those muscles because you're just intrigued by the challenge of what this is. That's right. You're just trying to get up that thing, yeah, right? Yeah. Watch girls like that do these fun little spins, and you're like, I, "Can I, I want to do that?" Yeah, and you're like, that looks very cool. Okay, let's talk a little bit about the science behind it. Yeah, how does it work? It's very fascinating because you look at two silks and think, "Like, how am I supposed to climb that?" But yeah. it's, of course, you have the combinations of just the way the different ropes tie around your hands. But then a large part of it is friction. That's yes. why you use a little bit of rosin. It's not chalk. Get the extra grip, and yeah. that's how you kind of hold tight. And then as you get better and better, like this lovely presentation, wow. you then focus on, you know, when you see a figure skater who's spinning faster as her arms come closer, yeah. that's called angular momentum. Ooh. And then, so then you really get to step it up at that fa We're, I'm not there yet, but. That's cool though. <laughs> yeah, it's fascinating. So uh, what's interesting about it is that it's, it's not aerial yoga. Mm -hmm. So there is a difference between the two. What's yes. the distinction between the two? One of the main things is when you see aerial yoga, it's actually a hammock. Yes. Rather than two silks hanging down, you're leveraging the hammock to add a little bit of a deeper stretch or something that's, which is also wonderful, mm -hmm. but versus aerial silks, it's strength, it's core, you're using the muscles, you're in engaging almost everything, even your legs, just to keep them straight and point them and look yes. elegant, which is something I'm not very good at. <laughs> um, I thought you did a pretty good job. So here's <laughs> the thing, I looked at that and I thought right away, oh my gosh, that's core, that's core, and you're like, no, that's, it's core. Yes. But it's also the, the muscles you use to do a pull-up. Core, pull shoulders, eludes muscles. Me, elude me. So muscles. 
I think it's very cool that you can do that and you're saying people try and do that and then they go back to the gym and they're just like, Mwah, I can do a million of these. Yeah, I went right? real deep in testimonials of people who got into it and exactly like all of a sudden they said, I can never do a pull up before and now I can do you six do in a row. That's amazing. No big deal. Go to the circuit.